exchange vouchers is an item that lets you pick up on the different types of currencies that you can use for yourself to get gear, certain skins, and of course, gold. They appear in different festivals, and sometimes it's better to just, you know, keep them in your bags for whenever you really, really need them. In this video, I'm going to tell you which choices you should pick, in what situations, and which are the best for gold as well. Subscribe to the channel for more content this. Go to my ko if you want to support me, and let's get into it. So, what is this item in the first place? Mr. Tyrion Exchange Voucher is this one here. You can get geodes, bandit crest, airship parts, lumps of aurelium, leyline crystals, uh, unbound magic, trade contracts, LG mosaics, and bottle magic, fractal relics, tales of dungeon delving. Each of those ones are used for different stuff, but I'm gonna tell you right now that you definitely, definitely, definitely never pick up trade contracts, okay? De don't do that. Um, and uh, yeah, well, the other ones, you know, depending on the situation, you're gonna be able to pick them up, right? Now, where do they appear? They, uh, you get them from specific festivals. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, you get them from like Candy Corn Vendor, uh, Dragon Bash Merchant, Festival Rewards Vendor, New Year Rewards, Super Adventure Box, Weekly Trader, and Winter's Day Trader with the respective um, currencies from each of those festivals. Now, the, as you can see here, those currencies uh, vary in terms of um, in terms of quantity, and also they vary in terms of how much gold they cost. So definitely be careful, depending on the type of festival that we have, to purchase it or not. As, you know, for example, in Bubba Bubbles, we're in Super Adventure Box right now, it will actually be profitable for you to buy it. You know, if you use your Bubba Bubbles, you will get around 25 silver per Bubba Bubble uh, for your turn exchange voucher, and 4 gold in total for the whole thing, depending on, well, I mean, in the best case scenario, if you pick up Volatile Magic, which usually is the most profitable one, right? Now, what, um, yeah, uh, what, what should you do with this, right, once you get it? Uh, by the way, the Super, Fest Super Adventure Festival one, uh, the where you get it is here from the Weekly Trader. There you go, boom, you can just buy it there. Um, and also, for some reason, in uh, in here, in the Super Adventure Box, you cannot open it. Even though you're there, you just cannot open it. You have to go somewhere else. So I'm just going to go in here to the guild, to my guild. Uh, and you can join, by the way, or guild. Uh, just leave in the description down below your name of your account, and I can invite you. Regardless, we're going to go one by one on each of the possibilities for you to actually pick up one and, you know, uh, get some gold or get some items or whatever you want. So let's open it here. Boom, you're gonna see that you're, you know, we could pick guilds, we can pick a lot of stuff. Now let's go one by one. Guilds, I would probably not recommend unless you really are going for the, um, for certain collections like uh, the fossil collections from Dry Top, those are kind of nice. Uh, or also if you are doing a Generation 1 collection, um, you might actually want those as it'll ask you for some geodes uh, to complete it. Uh, but otherwise, I would not really recommend it. Uh, there we go, Scorpionus. This is the kind of weapon that you can get from it, right? Uh, so there you go. Bandit Crest, I would also not recommend it. On, recommend getting it unless you're going for the Carapace pieces from Silver Wastes. Uh, this one's and the upgraded versions of it, which I don't have personally. Uh, but unless you want those, I would not really recommend picking this. And honestly, it's super, super easy to farm Silver Wastes and it will give you a lot of gold, so I would not recommend it ever. At least Geodes, you can justify it because you don't want to be doing Dry Top, but otherwise, nah. Airship Parts, wouldn't recommend it either unless you're very desperate for, um, for uh, the currency to get certain exotic armor, but honestly, just doing Bird and Brink every day will give you so many airship parts that I would not recommend it. Same thing for Aurelium and Chris Leyline Crystals, the only reason why you would get this ones if you're going for the weapons uh, from the specific currencies in each of the specific maps, um, or if you're going for Gen 2 Legendaries, and honestly, as I said before, as long as you do the events every uh, day, or not even every day, but just from time to time, you'll get, you'll be swimming in this currency. I will not recommend it. You can, but just, you know, <laughs> take into account that you probably would get this anyways, uh, yeah, uh, in an easier way. Unbound magic, you could, um, specifically, if you're going for certain, um, minis and stuff like this from Leon Season 3 or certain collectibles, but also, pff, is it really needed? You're not really gonna make a lot of gold out of this. It would just 
it would just be for cosmetics. And honestly, is it really worth it when you have to, when you can just go around picking winter berries and getting this magic regardless? Probably not. You can do it, of course, but eh, no, wouldn't recommend. Trade contracts, they're literally useless. Don't pick them up ever. It's just no, no, never, never, just don't, just don't do it. LG Mosaics, if you really don't like legendary bounties and you're going for a legendary generation 2 legendary on uh, with the POF version of it, right, instead of the HOT one, um, yeah, you can pick them. Uh, I have a lot of them because I did a lot of legendary bounties back in the day, so I really don't need them, but you could. Uh, also, if you're going for the funerary, <coughs> funerary, uh, weapon set, which honestly do look pretty nice, and you really, really don't like. Um, if you really, really don't like uh, doing bounties like this, yeah, honestly, not a bad idea. Uh, this is like cool ass weapon, a cool ass set, and uh, yeah, they're great. And you can get them from the Primal Steward in the Tomb of Primal Kings. I'm just gonna show you the map, uh, just in case you don't know. Uh, if you wanna go for them, it's right here on this side. Right here, there's a there's a guy who sells them for you, for LG Mosaics, of course. Uh, Bones of Magic. This one is probably the most amount of gold uh, that you can get. You just go to Domain of Istan or I of the North if you have upgraded. You trade them for trade tier six materials, and you'll get a lot of gold or well, materials that you'll sell in the auction house for gold. Um, this will give you the best uh, gold per tier and exchange voucher. Uh, so if you really just want to cash out, this is the way to do it. Fractal Relics. Um, for me, actually, Fractal Relics is not even that bad, uh, because I really like, I need a lot of Spirit Shards, and you can transform Fractal Relics to Spirit Shards, so it's not even that bad. Um, you can also use those Fractal Relics to transform them into Mystic Clovers, if you really don't doing Fractals at any point ever. Um, you can, but is it worth it? Ugh, it really depends on your situation, and uh, if you just do some Fractals anyways, even Tier 4s, dailies, not even the CMs, you probably won't need this ever, uh, so probably not. Tales of Dungeon Delving, this ones would only be good if you are going for the armor pieces and weapon sets from dungeons, and you don't like doing dungeons, or you don't like doing Warpless World and PvP to do the reward track uh, of each of those dungeons to get the same items. Personally, I would not recommend this, as there's so many different ways to get this, um, these skins anyways, right? They do look pretty cool, for example, look at this, the Flame Legion set. Is absolutely beautiful, uh, and all the armors, um, all the armor sets from Donios are very, very good. So definitely, you know, only pick it up if you're really desperate for them, and if you really know that you don't like doing Donios, you don't like doing Warpers World, and you don't like doing PP, and it's the only way of getting them. But you don't even get that many, so mm, I, I just wouldn't. I think honestly, the only ones that are really worth taking are uh, Volatile Magic. Uh, for getting gold, LG Mosex, if you really want a uh, Gen 2 um, legendary or the funerary set, and doing legendary bounties is very annoying, and maybe Geodes if you're really going for the uh, Gen 1 collections. Uh, otherwise, everything else is kind of useless, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, don't don't do it. Just farm it normally. Um, I would definitely say that it is nice to have this in your bank. Uh, just sitting there in case that someday you're like, oh my god, I'm missing like 300 geodes for this specific thing and I don't have them and I don't want to go to the dry top to farm, fuck. And you just, hey, go in here, pick them up, done. You're, do you're done with it. You don't have to be stressed about it. Same thing for like fractal relics. Like, oh my god, I'm missing 100 relics for this weekly and I did all my fractals and or I don't want to do it. I don't have time. Just go and do it. Honestly, that's what I'm gonna do because I, I run <laughs> I run out and I, I don't have time today to to play more. I might as well just pick them up and go to the vendor and get my weekly Misty Clovers. Fuck it. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely, it's a very very nice item uh, and it has different usages. Um, so definitely, you're gonna have to you know make your own choice for yourself. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, tell me if I, you think I missed anything. Tell me if you think anything I said was wrong. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more content on this. Go to my coffee if you want to support me. Go to my Twitch to watch me live. And uh, see you guys around. Love you all. Bye-bye.